Okay, so again, if I go to alpha uh, F2 or the window button, uh, if I scroll down to option number five, I can actually get a log base. Now I could use this for graphing or just evaluating something. So for example, uh, I'm gonna choose log base and um, actually, you know what? I wanna go to math print because this works a lot better in math print. In fact, I think I'm gonna do most of these from math print from here on out. Uh, but math print lets it look just like it kind of looks in your textbook. So now that I have math print up, we'll try this again, option number five. All right, cool. So now let's say I wanna do like log base six of, um, let's do six raised to the eight. Now anybody that knows their log properties knows that if I evaluate this, that because it's six raised to the eight and then I have the base of six here, that my answer should be eight, right? Those are part of the properties of logs. And it is. And so um, I can get the same answer by evaluating, um, like, you know, you could use the, um, you could use this property where you do the natural log of, the natural log of six raised to the eight. And that's how most of my students will change their base sometimes, um, you know, when they can't uh, enter in the actual base. They usually do a, a change of base formula, which works out pretty good. And that, oops, I did it backwards. It actually goes like this. It goes um, the natural log of six raised to the eight, forgot about that, divided by the natural log of six. All right, now we'll get eight. All right, good. You got to use the right change of base formula. Uh, so, uh, you could you could do this uh, two ways. You can use any logarithmic function, and then you you would take this term over this term. Or now, because of the um, actual function shortcut menu, you can actually enter in the base. Okay, um, that's pretty much it.